tastes like lead and dirt. Pretty gross. Really? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey guys, all right, so I'm out again today. It is Tuesday, it is dig day. Tonight I have a detecting club meeting to go to um, Penmar and uh, give a talk there tonight. I'm probably gonna talk about coins or something. Um, Joss and I are out in this field not too far from the house. It's 22 acres. They knocked down all the corn so we're able to get out here and check it out. Um, she found something super awesome, like almost right off the bat. And uh, I'm afraid she may have jinxed this, but she's all the way back there towards the road. There's uh, there's a creek behind us, and on the map, there's somewhere along here there was a 1700s tavern. This isn't that old, but it's cool. Got a uh, Cumberland County, Pennsylvania dog license. If I can get this thing to focus, 1920 something. So what I might do is I might actually spiral out from this position and see if I can't find the other half of it. Rang up in the 50s, kind of like a nickel or a button. So I took a chance. There's a lot of trash out here, but 1920 something. Still not my oldest, but uh, pretty cool. Not not too bad for a first little hit. So if I get anything else, I'll come back at you with it. See you in a bit. All right, I knew today was going to be a decent day. Um, Got a really good one here. So I'm running the AT Pro in Iron Disc 35 with the Iron Audio on so I can hear everything out here. Again, a lot of trash. A lot of trash. But you know what? This is worth it. Finding these things, little trinkets and relics and odds and ends is totally worth it. Um, was not expecting Civil War out of this field. But there's Civil War in this field. Right there, we got us a three ringer. Check that out. I'll clean it out. Maybe there's a star inside, which would denote Washington Arsenal made. But more than likely, this one is just a, a regular. And it looks like it's been fired, so I don't think it's a drop. Totally awesome. Super, super stoked with that couldn't be happier today that just made my day out it, you know even the dog license I was happy with but that that makes my day all right catch you on the next one Joss is still working her way so we both got something cool today so far all right catch you on the next one all right I'm totally convinced there was something out here I'm getting little patches of iron uh, there's brick very little glass of pottery down in the back corner of the field there um, a lot of trash a lot of road trash but there's a lot of brick and uh, ash for you know clinker yeah, there's clinkers there's all kinds of stuff down there um, but it's just so over concentrated I'm using a bigger coil today so I'm trying to get out of that area and see what's been brought down out into the field um, got another indication of some age here so let's take a peek looks like we got a nice little flat button it's got the little hump so I'm happy with that that gives me a uh, good indication that there's some age here so I'm gonna keep trucking through I'm digging all these like mid-tones too and and that's where this stuff is coming from so this rang up in the low 50s um, sorry about the wind if it's getting to the camera but uh, started picking up a little bit but yeah we're gonna get to it see what else we can find and if I come across anything else good get back to you on the next one see you in a bit got another decent target to show some age here so there we go nice uh, large spoon handle or utensil handle top I don't see any kind of monogram but it's uh, it's silver plated brass or copper whatever the base metal is but it was plated cool Maybe we're getting close. I don't know. 
So we're just kind of working in one little area, hitting little tiny patches of iron. Nothing, nothing mind blowing, but uh, but yeah, it's on to the next. See you on the next one. Return of the Rhino Turd. Uh, just a musket ball. Nothing spectacular, but again, age. It's an old rhino turd. Doesn't smell anymore. I don't think so anyway. Let's check. No, doesn't smell. Tastes like lead and dirt. Pretty gross. I should be recording our banter. Yeah. Uh, you want one, don't you? But you can't have one. I wanted one. I got two now. But you got that big copper thing that's in your video that I can't I talk did. about in my I video. Did. Make them go watch your video. On the way back to the car, another good target. It's down in the hole here, underneath the corn. I think. Oh yeah. Oh man, come on! I just want one. That's two. Oh. Well, we're not back to the car yet. No, and that's awesome that they're out here. Well, of course. I'm really loving the fact that they're out here. Right. Are you okay. filming me? Filming you? I'm going to film you filming me. We're going to get so warm with our videos because they're identical. We don't have identical videos. She doesn't have the potty mouth that I have. This is like rhino turd on steroids. Look at her. Now she's going to, now you're going to bottom feed. Bottom feed her. Bottom feeding girlfriend. But that's okay. Only because I love you. You're lucky. Check it out. Like, literally. Right there. Walk right on over here. And boom. Another three ringer. Oh, 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 we could be on to something good here. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'll get them cleaned up. We'll see if maybe there's a star base or something, but I doubt it. But what do you think? I just want one. Well, that's three for me. Three. Still working our way back to the car and had a real shallow signal right on the surface. High tone, taking a chance to kick the dirt away. And booyah! We got a little buckle right there. Is it? Buckle. Oh, oh yeah, and it's a uh, shoe buckle. Oh, what? It is a mashed shoe buckle. Maybe it's not a shoe buckle, but it's definitely a buckle, and it's mashed. But I'll take it along with my three ringers, all three of them. I love you. <laughs> I think she's still one with the 1830s, 40s, 50s something thing that she dug. You have to go see for yourself. Maybe I'll find something else. Catch you in the next one. All right, so back at the house, I have to get it showered and cleaned up. I don't have a whole lot of time. Um, I've got the Penmar Historical Research and Recovery Club tonight, um, Penmar Metal Detecting Club in uh, Biglerville. They meet at the Apple Museum. So I'm headed there tonight to go do a talk on coins, but I uh, figured I'd go over real quick with you came out of that field and we will be going back oh I am going back absolutely without a doubt right towards the end it just lit up with those last two three ringers um, 1920 something Cumberland County dog tax license musket ball flat button some sort of fancy something or other I'm not quite sure what that's off of but probably a jeans snap or something to that effect but it's got some fancy on it buckle and utensil handle so all in all that was pretty good for a couple hours um, there is one area out there that is just so chock full of trash and signals um, I had the bigger coil I'm going to need the smaller coil to go back and maybe just cherry pick the high tones first and then once they're all picked out work on the mid tones um, I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet maybe I'll just have one of those days where I just want to dig every single target and uh, who knows what's going to come out of there, but there's something there. There was something there. There's a lot of brick and good stuff there. So um, hopefully we can get on it next time we go. So 
until next time, just get out, enjoy yourself, have a good time, be with friends, enjoy the outdoors, get out and find your treasure. And I'll see you on the next one. Later.